Nosy Bird, welcome back to Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2. Today, we have a bunch, and I mean a big old bunch to go over. If you don't know, there is a brand new major update to Garden Warfare 2, something we haven't seen for two years. Frontline Fighters came out in December of 2016, and now, like I said, two years later, we have ourselves a brand new update, and as far as I know, there is a ton to talk about and plenty of Garden Warfare 2 content coming from me in the upcoming days. I am so excited for it, and hopefully you guys are too. But that being said, let's first take a look at the mailbox. We have Torchwood Legacy Reward. Tis the season of giving, so stop by the sticker shop and claim your Torchwood costume. So they are doing costumes and customizations for Torchwood and Hovergo as is update, and as you can see, same thing for the Hovergo 3000 Legacy Reward, which I think Legacy Reward means, you know, being rewarded for already having the Hovergo and Torchwood before this update. And then Torch and Tail Upgrade is now available. Fast track your way to Torch Torchwood and Hovergoat 3000 and accessing the doors in the Trials of Gnomus with the Torch and Tail Upgrade. I'll probably do a single video on this. Pick up the Torch and Tail Upgrade today and receive Torchwood, Hovergoat 3000, four Trials of Gnomus, colored door keys, attack consumables pack, defense consumables pack, 200 regular stars, 50 rainbow stars. Additionally, until December 13th, users who own Torchwood and Hovergoat 3000 will be gifted a random costume for each of the characters. And then here we go, the patch notes themselves, the most important thing. Hello, plants and zombies. Dr. Zomboss has updated his tech to the latest software, adding some new features. A new mode, Capture the Taco, will be appearing in the community portal. Spawn into an upgraded backyard battleground, snag the other team's taco, return it to your base to score taco-rific points, and defend your taco to achieve victory. So, Taco Bench from Garden Warfare 1 is back. Unfortunately, it seems like it's only a community portal mode for some reason. I don't know why it's not a full-fledged mode, but Community Portal's a good start. Torchwood and Hovergoat 3000 are now customizable with new costumes sold via rocks. Pick up the Sugary Plum Fury, Tree X 1000. I want to sort of skip these. I want to see these for myself. We'll be doing individual videos on each of these. Unfortunately, they're not variants. They're just customizations, which a lot of people were hoping for variants. I don't know. Until December 13th, players who have unlocked Torchwood and, or Hovergoat will be gifted a random costume for each of the characters. So that is very cool. That is what our uh, legacy thing is. And then we have Feast of Us going on as well. Of course, it's December. I hope everyone's having a good holidays. It's the most vanquishy time of the year. Feast of Us is back. Visit Rocks or swing by the stick shop Stick shop, huh? And feast your eyes on some sweet Feast of Us offers. Each appearance Rux makes, he'll have customizations exclusive to Feast of Us, along with some other rad doodads. And then, of course, we have Rux. And then we have all the December events. So very, very crazy stuff. It I would consider this a major update. Very exciting stuff. We're gonna check out the sticker shop. I don't know if I'm gonna be buying anything today. Uh, this might just probably serve as an update video, but we'll go ahead and check out these. We got our Hovergoat 3000 Legacy Reward and our Torchwood Legacy Reward. So let's check these out. For already having Hovergoat and Torchwood before this update launch, we get the Wishmaker Legendary. That is very weird. So costumes seem to work different here. Changes the entire look of your character, and then we have the Torch Torchwood Legacy Reward, which should also be a legendary Ginger Bark House. Weird, I am excited to check those out. So let's get to it. I'm gonna run back this way, and expect probably a number of Garden Warfare 2 episodes to go up today. It's gonna be a, sort of a weird time. But let's go first to Torchwood. And as you can see, there's now an appearance slot, and instead of it just being nothing, there's a full outfit, and you have the full Ginger Bark outfit. How Christmassy is this thing? Now, a lot of people seem to be pretty let down that there's no uh, new variant for Torchwood and Hovergo. And to be honest, I was actually a little confused from all this, you know, teaser images they were showing. I had thought they were showing photos of new variants. I think a lot of other people will like that as well. I would love to hear your thoughts on that. But it seems like they're just costumes. Let me make sure before I say anything more. Yeah, this is just normal Torchwood. Which is fine, you know, I still think it's great to have these cool looking cosmetics. Let me know which uh, cosmetics you are getting out of these legacy packs. I would love to hear about that as well. But before we do anything more, let's go, well I already opened up the, yeah, I already opened it up. What am I saying? I'm a dingus. Let's go ahead and check out the Hover Goat one. But I think this is a very good step in the right direction. Hopefully soon we'll also be able to see proper variants for these characters. But uh, for right now we have the Wishmaker and look at that. Oh wow, look at his custom shoes. One of them's a paint bucket, because he painted himself purple, I love it. And he has these fancy little shoes as well, but he's, he's just sort of a genie out of a 
A lamp. I like it. So we'll take a look at this one real fast. And we'll be doing full showcase videos on these ones soon enough, so stay tuned for it. it the mailbox is saying there's more stuff, but I think we have checked everything out. But we're gonna be doing bunches of stuff. We're gonna be checking out the Taco Bandits game mode. We'll be checking out all these new cosmetics. Is there anything new from Rux? I don't think so. Yeah, there's just uh, some Feast of Us stuff, which we'll check out sooner or later. I don't know what the best way to get the new costumes are, but I'm going to assume it's, it's buying the normal gig of stuff. So like we have Extraordinary Pack and we have Wondrous Pack of Greatness. I think we'll just have to buy Wondrous Packs of Greatness. So stay tuned, because that's a big thing I'm probably gonna be doing very soon, is a three million coin unpacking. I've never done one that big, a spending spree that huge. I think the biggest we've done is two, maybe 2.5. We have never done a three million. So to celebrate the fact that there's a new update after two years of no updates, I wanna definitely do that. How awesome. But uh, with that being said, I don't know how much more of the update I can really cover. Like, I don't know if there's anything more. There have been rumors that there are returning Garden War for a one map. So I did want to check that real fast. Seeds of Time, Great White North. Well, this is for Gardens and Graveyards. So let's, let's take a look through everything. Mm, not looking like it. So I don't know if that rumor is not true or if it's something specifically for Taco Bandits. I guess we'll find out soon enough. Some people, well, this is another big thing. This is being, yeah, I should definitely focus on this as well. I'm recording this on December 6th, but the video is most likely to be posted on December 7th, uh, just because you know, it takes time to make a video, right? But that's the big thing, right, is that there is more of this update to come on the 7th, so you might actually see a follow-up update video from me, but I wanted to keep this as current as I can. I'll try my best to get it up on the 6th, but I don't know, I'll try my best, I promise. <laughs> But yeah, so like I said, expect a showcase video for this costume, the Torchwood costume, a three million coin spending spree, an opening of the Torch and Tail pack, and checking out Taco Ben. It's tons of Garden Warfare content coming up. I hope you guys are excited. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2. If you want to support the video, make sure you comment, update, and Zebra Sony have watched at the end of the URA Zebra Tastic Viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now, or by subscribing and join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.